you got to go to a cell like a padded cell by yourself with very a little or no clothes on. You understand what I'm saying? So that's it, 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 when I heard it, 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 it didn't it didn't um, I wasn't surprised. You know, somebody who lived in mansions, travel all over the world, somebody who had could go into any hotel, have any and everything at his beck and call. Now he's in a room that's a what was a 10 by 10 if that a cell? Bruh, if he was gonna commit and he was on the outside doing those city college days, just imagine what he's gonna do or try to do while he's in prison and he don't have his cell phone, he don't have no maids, you understand? The correction officers who's making about 40, 50,000, or you know, if you're starting, <laughs> you know, cussing them out, telling them all and the inmates, everybody talking crazy to him because what they, what he done, he might think it's better off to commit be in a situation like that, bro. It might be better off to commit him. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. I believe your life don't belong to you. Your life belongs to God and the people around you that you take care of and do what you need to do as a man. But him saying that, them putting him on watch, I could see that, man, but that that ain't a good situation. Music mogul P. Diddy has recently spoken out for the first time since his arrest and incarceration at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, where he is awaiting trial on serious charges of racketeering and trafficking. In this new phase of his life, Diddy is dealing with a stark contrast to his usual lavish lifestyle. Used to eat delicious things <laughs> like duck and chicken, but now it's downgraded to some potatoes not a very appetizing meal that he had last night and by the way if you if you've heard of mdc brooklyn uh this detention center it's probably because r kelly has stayed there fetty wap has stayed there michael cohen allison mack and uh and Ghislaine maxwell a lot of famous people have gone here before really really rough we're told um by the way if he is found guilty he faces a minimum of, I think it's 12 years in prison and a maxim, statutory maximum of life in prison. So he's really facing some serious time. And, and, and for the judge to not accept this this bond offering, to me, says everything you need to know. Uh, uh, it, the, I don't know if you guys saw it, it was a 12 page uh, uh, indictment where they explained all the allegations against Diddy and they are horrendous. I mean, it is just filled with just allegation after allegation after allegation. Not only that, they say it's almost essentially backed up by video. You know what I mean? So, so for the judge to not accept this $50 million package where they are like, they, all his family members are here. Everything is here. We promise he's not going to leave. And for the judge to be like, no, no, this guy is that big of a menace to society that he needs to be held behind bars. It is not boding well for his future and, and a potential uh, plea agreement or some way to get out of this. Now, we've seen it obviously before with celebrities, you know, Justin Timberlake most recently got out of his uh, his deal DIY. with the slap, slap on the wrist. But this, like to, to not let him leave, being the celebrity that he is, tells should tell you everything that you need to know about case against him. Diddy used to host extravagant parties and reside in multi-million dollar homes, but these days he is imprisoned in a lonely cell, denied access to the comforts of his former existence. He is being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center Mech in Brooklyn, a facility notorious for its cruel treatment of inmates and dubbed hell on earth by both prisoners and legal activists. Yo, cuz Puff always had a problem of listening to people that he thought that was less than him. And now he gotta listen to people that got power over him, but never had as much as he had. He's gonna have a big problem in the prison system. He's gonna have a real big problem in the prison system, bro. And having to listen to those COs and having to listen to everybody that got more power than him now from a person that had all the power in the world that we thought. Now, seem like the tables is turning. If these people have it this day way, he gonna be spending the rest of his life in the prison system. He 
better hope that they want to make a deal, but I don't think so, or they want somebody else. He better hope, and he got something to offer them. Even if he the squalid, overcrowded, and dangerous prison has housed notable inmates such as R. Kelly and Ghislaine Maxwell, reports detail frequent stabbings, a lack of medical care, understaffing, and generally harsh treatment. Critics point to the prison's understaffing, lack of necessary supplies, and unclean conditions. Several testimonies highlight issues such as insufficient winter heating and violent altercations among inmates, contributing to the facility's notorious reputation. Breaking news, a federal detention hearing for Sean Diddy Combs has just ended and CNN's Kara Scannell is outside the courthouse in New York. Kara, uh, obviously uh, this is a huge case. Uh, what just happened? Yeah, Jake, so the magistrate judge overseeing this hearing today has remanded Sean Diddy Combs into custody after he was charged with that case. He is, was let out of the courtroom by the U.S. Marshals and he will be held in federal detention as this case moves forward. Now this followed a lengthy hearing with both prosecutors and Diddy's attorneys arguing reasons why he should be kept behind bars and why he should be released. Diddy's lawyer saying that he has taken voluntary steps including turning over his passport to his lawyers uh, saying he would report any of his movements to prosecutors but the judge finding that that was just not enough. She said my concern is is that this is a crime that happened behind closed doors even when pretrial services is monitoring so she said there was nothing that his lawyers had offered that made her feel comfortable that he would return to this courthouse for subsequent court hearings and for a trial she said that it was both his substance abuse and the fact that some of this physical abuse that's been alleged occurred when he was using all that that was a reason why she couldn't trust that he would not commit any additional crimes while he was left on bail. So Sean Diddy Combs is not going to be walking out this door. He is in federal custody where he will be unless his lawyers are able to convince a different judge to release him. Let's bring in criminal defense attorney uh, Stacy Schneider. And Stacy, you say today's indictment reads like a mob indictment. What was most shocking to you of all these allegations? Yeah, the fact, Jake, that the government in, in this indictment presented evidence alleging that Sean Combs was running a criminal enterprise and they actually named it in the indictment the Combs Enterprise and they said that this enterprise consisted of him as the alleged leader his employees assistants staff allegedly that were able to procure women and alleged um, male to engage in performances for his own identification where it differs from a, a, a mob indictment, it has all the elements of putting together this racketeering allegation of all these moving pieces using resources from his businesses. But the fact that this is about an allegation of identification being accomplished by alleged trafficking. It's one of the most unique indictments I've ever seen in this area, in the area of because they're not, the government isn't actually prosecuting crimes other than the uh, trafficking or the trafficking, they're not prosecuting uh, any type of alleged abuse to woman, women, although that's part of this racketeering scheme, but the actual charges are racketeering conspiracy, um, trafficking, and individuals over state lines to engage in Diddy is being held in prison because of the accusations made against him, including racketeering and drug trafficking, which may make him more susceptible to threats from other inmates. Prisons occasionally see hostility toward those convicted of or accused of exploitation-related crimes, especially those involving children or women. Combs is being prosecuted for major offenses like drug trafficking and racketeering, and he has repeatedly been denied bail while awaiting trial. The judge rejected the requests of his attorneys to release him on a $50 million bond package that included his Miami real estate as security. All right, so starting off with Diddy, he was held without bail. So yesterday, his team had offer offered a $50 million package to get Diddy, to ensure Diddy's release. The judge did not bite. Instead, the judge had made a, a, a statement in the court hearing. This is in federal court. Obviously, you guys know he was arrested the night before. So he appeared in federal court and the judge had made an announcement basically saying, 
to the, his family, thank you for coming, but I cannot release Diddy at this time. And the U.S. attorney had argued that he was a flight risk and also a danger to society. Seems like uh, the judge sided with them. Um, so he is currently being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. The prosecution successfully argued that Diddy poses a significant flight risk due to his vast wealth and worldwide connections. Furthermore, the judge denied his requests for house arrest, deciding to detain him in the Metropolitan Detention Center MEC until his trial. Cameron Lindsay, a former MEC warden, expressed concerns over Diddy's safety, pointing out that a celebrity like him may be exploited in the jail environment. You say his fame makes him a target. Yes, in my humble estimation, his life, his safety is in jeopardy in any correctional lockup right now. Um, he, it, if it is true, as reported, that he is housed in the special housing unit, it's important to note that the special housing unit is a, is a lockdown, 24-hour lockdown unit. Um, the MDC Brooklyn is a high rise. The vast majority of the floors are general population floors. But the special housing unit is a 24-hour lockdown facility. So this is for Mr. Combs protection. Um, his incredible worldwide celebrity combined with the allegations, the charges now, yeah. and indictment, of course, of acts of violence against women make him a very attractive target. Combs is allegedly under constant supervision, a preventive measure commonly applied to well-known or vulnerable detainees, particularly those accused of heinous crimes, in an effort to prevent self-harm. City Combs investigation as the hip-hop star fights racketeering conspiracy and charges. Well, investigators now working to determine who his co-conspirators were and whether they should be charged as well. TMZ is also reporting Diddy was placed on watch at the detention center that he's being held at in New York. But his lawyer is saying he's not. This is just routine for high profile inmates. Just this week, prosecutors say they served Holmes head of security with a search warrant for his electronic devices. You can rest assured that the feds have already talked to the people who worked for uh, Combs and all of those people have already probably given statements. The 54 year old has pleaded not guilty to charges that he led a criminal conspiracy that women. The indictment alleges some of Combs employees helped set up freak offs in which women were forced to relax with men. Diddy remains isolated from the general population behind. Although this may sound alarming, Diddy's attorney clarified that it is standard procedure for people in his situation and does not imply that he has demonstrated any tendency towards self-harm. A certain individual to prepare himself to do a lot of years in jail. From the lifestyle that he had, I'm not saying that he can't. I just don't see him able to do time behind bars. Maybe if he'd be in a camp type situation, that's a possibility. But based on the lifestyle and what he's done and what he's accomplished, if he had to go behind those bars for a lot of years, he'd do an Epstein. Why do you think he had pulled up Russell Simmons and lead the country? They was watching him, he was watching him. And then I think that he had to turn over his passport. Even if you own your own private jet, uh, they have a system up there whereas that they supposed to check your passport and anything that you need to fly as if you were flying commercial. Yeah, you might be right about that. Me thinking about it, yeah, I don't see don't let them leave that easy. But I gotta ask you, before the interview, me and you were speaking about it, right? How you feel about the people that blame you for Puffy getting arrested? Listen, you seen the indictment. The indictment went from 2008 until 2024. I stopped dealing with Puff in 2004 and 2005, brother. You understand? Nothing and no witness ever came up and said that Gene Deal held me down. Gene Deal lotioned and greased me up. Gene Deal did anything, you understand, with Diddy to, to, to cause him to be in any kind of situation, brother. My whole thing about this is this. If I told you what happened to us and to Big, to Wolf, and told y'all my experience with this guy from 90, from, from, from 90 until 2005, not one person said or came out and said I played up and doing anything but being a gentleman and straightening this dude out when he went to Kirk Bros to tell you. I was the only one who would talk about his green teeth. 
There is growing concern that Diddy might not make it out of Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center, where he is being held, due to the appalling conditions inside. Some have even compared his situation to that of Jeffrey Epstein. Everybody, I'm having deja vu. It was just over five years ago, the most common question I was getting asked was, what's going to happen to Epstein now that he's been arrested? And we know how that turned out. Now the most common question I'm getting asked is, will Diddy survive incarceration or will he be epstein And we are seeing some parallels. So the basics are, he's in the, on a $50 million bond bail. It is a jail that the Epstein jail was closed down and inmates were moved, including Glenn Maxwell ended up and R. Kelly ended up in this same jail in Brooklyn because the Epstein jail was closed down. We're at the Metropolitan Correctional Centre was where Epstein, he got on August the 10th, 2019. Can you believe it has been that long? So in this video, we're gonna look at some basics. I'm gonna go over chapter one of Who Killed Epstein? Prince Andrew or Bill Clinton, my book, because the details in there, you will see all of the parallels with Biddy's case. But the basics are life is cheap in prison. There are people in prison who will kill you for a $50 rap of And if you have committed crimes against women or kids, as soon as you go in, you know, where I was housed in Arizona, the neo-Nazi Aryan Brotherhood gang members come up to me. They said, hey, we want a word of you coming next door with her. And they lay down the rules. And one of the rules is if anyone comes in with an offense or a crime against a woman or a child. Diddy and Jeffrey Epstein have been compared due to their similar high-profile incarcerations in dangerous conditions. Both individuals are accused of serious charges related to trafficking, and are being held in well-known federal correctional institutions. Epstein, who was suspected of supervising a vast trafficking network that included minors, passed away in his Manhattan jail cell in 2019 under peculiar circumstances. The severity of his offenses and his powerful connections gave rise to considerable conspiracy theories and speculation. Sean Diddy comes back in court to request bail complaints of horrific New York City jail conditions. My opinion! This dude, is he for real requesting bail? This is the same dude who conveniently skipped town when the authorities were raiding his houses, talking about, oh, I didn't know y'all were looking for me, fellas. Well, now you know, so could you come back in town? Because we got some questions for you. Uh -uh, uh -uh. But I tell you what, after my vacation, I'll be right in to answer all your questions. Now, does he think the judge is stupid? If he gets bailed, that guy is gone forever. Off to some country with no extradition treaty, living a lube room habit lifestyle. He's got the money and apparently a lot of lube for some reason. No, 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 buddy. You stay right there. You're right where you belong. But it's so uncomfortable. Like there's no oceanfront view. No state-of-the-art gym. They got me sleeping on a, a, a twin mattress. It's not even a memory foam mattress. It's so uncomfortable. Yo, it's jail. It's not supposed to be com comfortable. Like why do these rich people think, oh, I'm gonna be living a life in jail? No, 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 my friend. Actually, you know what? Don't do anything in jail. Don't. Don't do that. And that's not your thing. Like, don't let me impose my thinking on you. You live your lifestyle. You live your truth. Now, what if after years of being in jail, Diddy comes out of prison, he's more open. And like, maybe his friends are like, how was it, Diddy? And he's like, oh, it was great. Really? Oh yeah, bro. I got my pushed in, bro. Let me see who catches that movie reference. That's all for now. Please check back soon.